good morning and happy St. Patrick's Day from Lisa Ann. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, um, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell to get notifications of when I post new videos. To those of you who have stopped by before, welcome back. Today I'm in Indiana on vacation with friends and I'm wearing orange. Um, you might uh, not think that that's the traditional St. Patrick's Day color, but I learned just yesterday that it is in reality. So let me tell you um, something new about St. Patty's Day that maybe you don't know. If you look up um, the Irish flag, you'll notice that it is green, white, and orange striped. And of course, all flags represent something. So if you want to do a fun homeschool project, uh, study the Irish flag and what the colors mean. You can just Google wearing orange on St. Patrick's Day and you'll get a very unique history lesson. But let me just give you a brief overview. The green is the color of the Catholics is that right? Yes. <laughs> and um, orange is the color of the Protestants. And since I'm Protestant, I'm proudly wearing the orange. Um, it comes from William of Orange, the third, yeah, William the third, who defeated the Catholics um, like 1600 something, not sure. But the Catholics, as usual, were murdering the Protestants, right? Because they had um, defected from their church. So you can see why I would rather wear orange instead of green on St. Patty's Day. Let me read you a little bit from some notes that I have here. And I want to give credit to Miss McLean. What's her name? Carol McLean, she's the wife of the late Terrence McLean of, what's the name of the publishing company? Do you know? I'll, I'll find it and put a link in the bottom, but I want to give credit where credit is due. I had never heard this before. I can't believe I'm almost 55 and have no idea about wearing orange on St. Patrick's Day. But anyway, the real Patrick appears by his own testimony to be a saint in the true biblical sense of the word, not because he died and did great works, but because he trusted in the blood of Jesus Christ to pay for his sins. And we'll read uh, a quotation from him that shows us that he indeed was a saved man. Discerning the Times Publishing. And I'll still put a link below in case you're interested. Okay, um, Bible-believing Christian's color to wear would be orange for William of Orange, not green. Green would identify us as Papist, those desiring to murder Christians. I won't uh, take the time to read the history of St. Patrick. Most people are already familiar with that, but what I do want to read is St. Patrick's Confession. This is my confession before I die. The Lord opened the sense of my unbelief that I might remember my sins and be converted with all my heart to the Lord my God. Hence, I cannot be silent about the great benefits and the great grace which the Lord has deigned to bestow upon me. I cannot be silent, because there is no other God, nor ever was, nor ever will be, than God the Father, without beginning, the Lord of the universe, and His Son, Jesus Christ, whom we declare to have always been with the Father, by him are made all things visible and invisible. He was he made he was made man. Yes, Jesus. He was made man, and having defeated death, was received into heaven by the Father, and he hath given him all power over all names in heaven, on earth and under the earth. And every tongue shall confess to him that Jesus Christ is Lord and God in whom we believe. And then he wrote a hymn 
And in that hymn, he specifically mentions, um, I arise today through the strength of Christ, through the strength of his crucifix crucifixion with his burial, through the strength of his resurrection, Christ with me, Christ in me. And then he ends it by saying that salvation is of Christ. So I hope you find this interesting. I hope you'll go on and do your own research about it and not take my word for it. And have a great St. Patty's Day.